Hi, I'm Lillian, and today we're going to talk about how a tiny piece of DNA can make a lobster live forever. Well, technically, the key is telomeres, non-coding segments of DNA with the sequence TTAGGG. They can be compared to the plastic tips on your shoelaces. They cap the ends of your DNA so that they don't get worn down. Let's dive into why we need these telomeres in the first place, the great end replication problem. When DNA gets replicated, it gets a little bit shorter and shorter each time. If the DNA lost each time was important genes that coded for the proteins in your body, well, it would be a disaster. But telomeres protect the ends of your DNA so that the non-coding TTA GGG sequences are degraded, not the important stuff. But here's the catch. Telomeres too get shorter with each replication. At a point, they reach a limit called the Hayflick limit, which says that a cell can only divide 40 to 60 times before it stops growing. Isn't that crazy? It suggests the concept of a biological age of your cells, rather than a traditional chronological age, and explains why immortality is not possible. Well, at least not yet. Once your cells reach this limit, they begin to malfunction and cause tissue, stem cell, and bone degeneration. As you can imagine, telomeres are a huge part of current research on aging. In 2015, researchers at Stanford University discovered a way to turn back the internal clock by using modified RNA successfully lengthening telomeres by 1,000 nucleotides. Another huge application of telomeres is in cancer research. Why? Here's the thing. There's a special enzyme called telomerase that extends telomeres. A typical somatic or body cell has very little telomerase, so they eventually die. Or has a lot? Germ cells, sperm and egg. Lobsters have a lot of germ cells, which is why they can technically live really long. And the scary part is that cancer cells have a lot of telomerase as well. That means, like a psychic to a villain, telomerase can help cancer cells extend their telomeres so they become immune. Is there a solution? Many researchers have analyzed ways to stop telomerase activity in cancer cells. The first is telomerase immunotherapy, where immune cells are programmed to destroy cancer cells marked with TERT, a subunit in telomerase. There are also drugs that block the active site, which is where telomerase attaches to DNA. You may be thinking, while scientists are doing all that, what can I do? Well, studies have shown that healthy diet, exercise, and relaxation can cause longer telomeres, thus possibly slowing biological aging. At the end of the day, you are in control of your health. So go out there and take a break, go on a run, and if you stop to tie your shoelaces, take a moment to thank your telomeres for doing their job.